extra. Oh, my goodness. Mark Radlich is ready. I'm Jesse Starcher, welcoming you back here to the Metal Hammer of Doom Extra. We're ready to talk a new album this coming Wednesday and to tell us all about it. Mark Radlich, what do we got coming up this Wednesday? You know, Jesse, I'm from Long Island, New York, as I'm sure you, you've been made aware. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Long Island, New York, is, when it comes to music, gets associated with Twisted Sister, uh, Billy Joel, and uh, unfortunately, fuck dream theater okay <laughs> you don't sound me, proud of that let me tell you something about dream theater i hate dream theater i have hated dream theater for years i i mean it's not and i love progressive metal but dream theater always drove me up the fucking wall well they've got an album coming out it is entitled distance over time and it comes out February 22nd, 2019. I, you know, it, this is one of those things where I feel like I owe it to the people to at least give this a chance and talk about it on the Metal Hammer of Doom. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about the new Dream Theater. But if I didn't have a podcast that reviewed metal albums, I would ignore the fact that this band even existed. Oh, that's no. how much I fucking hate Dream Theater. Okay, now hold on. You got Alice in Chains on one hand, Dream Theater in the other one. <laughs> Which is getting listened to first, Dream Theater? I jam both albums into my ears. Because it's going to be less painful than actually having to listen to them. All yeah. right, I got you. They released a single, Untethered Angel, which is eight minutes of them recording in a recording studio. Mm-hmm. I said I'd rather kill myself, so I went and I went back and I looked for a different video, one that was you know slightly more interesting, and I couldn't find one. However. Uh. I did find a song that I liked. So we're going to look at the video, but it, it's more. But the reason why I picked it is because I actually really love the song, despite the fact that I just went into a whole rant about how much I hate Dream Theater. They wrote a song that that I know existed until now. It, it speaks to me in terms of how I feel about music. So I thought, you know what? If I have to listen to Dream Theater, I have to have to review their shitty videos. Let's at least try one that doesn't drive me completely up the wall. This is The Gift of Music. Oh. Which was released as a single December 3rd, 2015. It's from the album The Astonishing, which was released January 29th, 2016. So that's three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. All right. All you ready right, to do man. this? I'm re- hey, let me just ask you real quick. Is is traffic like really bad on Long Island? Depends. I mean, the, Bill O'Reilly once joked that they've been working on the 40, 405 Expressway since the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Robert <laughs> Moses. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I was just thinking, I mean, if these guys are stuck in traffic, maybe they are like this is a representation of songs that they come up with as they're waiting to try and get somewhere. Uh, <laughs> and that's why they're so freaking long. But they're, 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 they're recording music while stuck in the car. <laughs> Probably. Brilliant. That, if you're trying to if you're trying to get anywhere on the BQE, it's entirely possible you can compose an entire album with a full orchestra. I'm listening to Dream Theater track three today. It got me it got me through one commute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, yeah, uh, let's hit it, man. Whenever you're ready. When play. we become the Waldorf and Statler of heavy metal. Mm. <laughs> Evolved into this somehow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, we did. All right. Here it is, folks. The gift of music that I give to you. This is Dream Theater. Dream Theater. Okay. Hey, guess what, Jesse? They're playing in a studio. Oh, my goodness. They're playing their instruments in a studio. Oh, wait a second. Got a little bit of animation or something going on here. Yeah, it goes back and forth between them playing in a studio. Thoroughly uninteresting than this, like, animated thing. Oh, it's a bunch of abstract shit. So, the lead singer looks familiar for some reason. I don't know why. Any idea what his name is? Yeah. A I could be. I, 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 I don't have to watch it. the video. I've seen it before, and there's nothing oh, worse. So remarkable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta watch it twice, though. <laughs> um, famous. James Labrie, who's okay. been in the band since 1991. Now yeah, I've heard. I must have heard a few, a few of these songs before. To my friends who, uh, you know, my my friends who were really into heavy metal loved Dream Theater. I was like the I was the only one who didn't like Dream Theater growing up. Why does that guy have cannons on his drum set? <laughs> it just kills all the band members at the end of the video. <laughs> <laughs> in case there's ever a pirate invasion, he can fire back. Uh, Rumahoy, your new drummer. And I know somebody's going to listen to this and going 10,000 dislikes. That, you know, 
He's they're gonna explain what those really are. They're not actually cannons. I I know that. I <laughs> anti-aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case they're about to be bombed, they're ready. Uh, well, I, I'm sure he remembers the air raid drills in Long Island schools. He's just being prepared. So we have some cities in the clouds that, you know, as if polluting from the Earth was not bad enough. I saw a bunch of smokestacks and shit up in the clouds here. Oh, well, now we're back down to Earth, and there's the sun. Yeah, I think Dream Theater has definitely got its following, because I've mm -hmm. seen a lot of people around my area either wearing shirts or posting about them. Oh, so. yeah, they're super popular. They're, they're, they're a million-dollar band. I mean, you know, look, I, I take nothing away from them. They're super talented. They've got a huge following. They're massively successful. I just, they just never did anything for me. Guitar solo. Of course. Bring it on. It's I'm progressive gonna... metal. It's progressive metal with a bunch of long-haired white guys from Long Island. You better believe it is a guitar solo. <laughs> they might as well name the band Guitar Solo. <laughs> guitar Solo, the band. Coming you see at why, you. When you see the drums, you see why I thought they were cannons? Oh, yeah, dude. I have no idea what that's about. I, they, We may actually have to do research by the time this like, well, comes up some, so I can have I, an answer. I saw some YouTube comments that talked about how high his symbols are. Like why? Like like his symbols have taken down airplanes. <laughs> I assume he hits them with the drumstick. I mean, they've got a they've they've got a he's got to hit it at some point. Yeah, see how high the symbols are? Yeah, they're up there. I mean, yeah, that's violating some kind of FCC, uh, <laughs> fucking FAA or whatever the hell FHA. Fucking, I have no idea. Hit them keyboards. Oh, yeah. Okay. That looks like the oh, one yeah. I was given when I was a kid. A little I, tiny I, one. You can't take away how talented these guys are. Oh, <laughs> you know, that's our apology for making fun of what we're seeing in front of us right now. Okay, they're talented, but hey. At least shoot something out of the fucking drum set or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, at least, could you light the studio on fire? Is that possible? And that's the moon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that yeah. is the moon. Did you not? That's the perfect ending to this video. Well, now, were, if I was thinking to myself, well, how would I end this video? They, they, were, looking the moon. For, they were looking for Monster Magnet. Monster, it's up there vacuuming their <laughs> asteroid. <laughs> Going on by. It's just a smiling. Call back. Uh, Go I back in the moon. archive. Whew. Well, it'll be fun to listen to. Have you looked to see what the track links are on this new album? I'm just curious. They probably don't even have it up yet, do they? Uh, let's see. No, it's up, I think. <coughs> na, 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 na. Studio albums. Distance over time. Uh, oh, boy, there's a nine-minute song on here. Well, we're not deviating from the norm, at least there. <laughs> Could you imagine Six. the? Could you imagine the riots? <laughs> Dream Theater came out with an album, and they're all three than, minutes. A, a Dream Theater song less than four minutes. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> this fucking band has gone to hell. Six minutes, four minutes, seven minutes, six minutes, four minutes, six minutes, nine minutes, four minutes, eight minutes. So okay, now, the whole thing clocks in in almost an hour. About an average of, uh, it sounds like about an average of five, five to six minutes a song. So yeah, well, right. we're gonna we're gonna play one minute. <laughs> <laughs> one minute, and that's all you get. <laughs> I'm attempt. I so, so help me God, I'm going to attempt to review this album in thirty minutes. I could see, I could see that. I mean, we play one minute of the song, and then like you know, it's it's all like intro guitar before yeah. any. You know, that's that's probably what's going to happen. But hey, you know what, Mark Radlich, I'm excited. It'll it'll probably be the first Dream Theater album that I've listened to straight through. So I'll have a fun time talking about it. So what what is it again there, Mark Radlich, coming up on Wednesday? Distance over time very good all right well we'll catch you wednesday that's mark i'm jesse have a great week we'll talk to you wednesday have a good one bye-bye tune in wednesday for the metal hammer of doom on the rattle and broadcasting network